Okay, take two. Hello, hello, and happy Wednesday. And let's see if this makes a difference. I'm hoping some people will be there to join me. I think I figured out something that I might have, might have been an issue. I'm not sure. We shall see. Or maybe everybody's just busy today. Hey, Jacqueline. Hi. I think I messed up when I scheduled it before. I thought I was taking a shortcut and I think I messed myself up. How are you doing today? I thought I had everything all set up to schedule. It was all going to go great. And uh, yeah, I messed myself up. I am going to be finishing off the covers for my giveaway journal. So... Uh, hopefully this idea is going to work. Let's see if I can tell which side is the right side and which side is the wrong. This is the right side. Okay. Hey, Laura. Hey, Mary. Hey, Dan. I don't know Dan. Hi, Brenda. More homework, huh? <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I thought I had myself all set up to be recording this or to be streaming this with a, a notification that I was going to be coming live today. And I guess if you mark it unlisted ahead of time, then the um, then you guys can't see it. So <laughs> I learned that lesson. Uh, all right. So we already had. Sorry, he's blocked. He's not coming back. Hi, Beth. All right, so lesson number one learned on this today, but that's okay. At least I was able to um, go back on here quickly. And next week, I didn't get it set up today, but next week, hopefully we will have not one, but two camera angles set up in here. All right, so what I have are the giveaway journals, and I am going to film the giveaway video after this one, probably. Um, all the papers are ready to stick inside there, so remember that in order to enter the giveaway, you will have to watch the giveaway journal uh, video, and I will give you the clues in there on what I'm going to do. All right, um, I have not hand-stitched a cover before, but I think what I'm going to do... It's going to be a double stitching to make it nice and strong. So I think I'm going to start with a running stitch, I think. And it's going to be inside a little bit more. Yeah, I need, I need to uh, keep my eye out on that kind of stuff. And if you guys see it and I'm not catching it right away, please give me a shout out in the comments in capital letters. All right. Is this idea going to work? I don't know. Maybe I'll try and, oh, maybe I should do that. Except the stitches are going to show on that side. All right. I already messed myself up. I mean, I was going to just, you know, whip these out on the sewing machine, which would take no time at all to go around. And then I thought I put all that effort into hand stitching the covers. I should hand stitch the inside cover to it. Hi, Dal. So show of hands, how many of you watched my first time on camera with my video that I posted on Monday about Pinterest and public domain images? Thanks, Jacqueline. It was not intended to be a me in front of the camera video. It was supposed to be uh, something completely different. It was supposed to be a bunch of static images, except that when I looked at the video after that, it did not did not come out right at all. It was not the message. It, it just, it wasn't strong. And I looked at my husband and my husband looked at me and he's like, you got to go on camera for that. And so it was late and I, I wanted to get it done because I knew that there was other stuff going on the rest of the week. And I really wanted this like monkey off my back. So we raced around and we did it. And it was a lot of fun once I finally got the video thing set up. But I mean, moving my camera, one of my camera arms fell off and, you know, it was just... <laughs> It was just one of those things. All right, you guys, these are not going to be pretty stitches on the inside. When you win the journal, you can decide to do something else. Shelby, the, the newest video, though, it, the video I published on Monday is brand new. It's all about um, 
what people think about Pinterest. And like I said, I'm actually on camera on that one. You actually see my face. People think Pinterest is public domain and it's not. Yeah, okay. So you guys are going to forgive me that they're not going to be lined up pretty stitches on the inside, right? Hey, Angela, happy to see you. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, Beth came over for a visit uh, on Monday and we got to chat and she got to actually fondle these journals in person. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so my idea is when I have the time to set this up, I've got some other, I'm still waiting for the floors to get in my husband's office and we're still waiting for an electrician, but I want to set up my iPad so that you guys can watch my face while you watch my hands. So it'll be like the little picture down below that's my face. It's a great inspiration place, but you know, you know the rules, you know the law, you don't try and break the law. Oh, the other thing you guys need to tell me, I do not know how to turn off the autofocus yet when I'm using StreamYard and my webcam. So let me know if the autofocus is zooming in and out and if it bugs the heck out of you. You'll find out when you get yours, right? It was was purple was the one you had calling out to you, right? Was that it? Or were you going to fight Janet for the blue? <laughs> they do feel really good. So I'm going to make a bunch more, I think, without maybe stitching. I might make just the lace pieces, and that way I can sell them that way. Yeah, I suppose if you don't Oh, See, now I'm looking at this, and I'm already thinking, well, maybe I should go along with some lace but i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna leave it alone guys i'm gonna leave it alone and um you know what i should do a whip stitch though huh if i did a whip stitch it would look better it would look better yeah i'm very new to Streamyard too i don't like this so we're gonna take it out i'm gonna my perfectionist is not gonna be able to deal with it which means if i'm gonna do a whip stitch i need and I'm not real good at that one either, but I think it'll hide more of the stitching. Let's see. All right. Uh, wow. So you can watch me fumble on camera. I wish I had mad sewing, hand sewing skills. I do not. All right, so we're just going to pin this in a few places, which I should have done first anyways. So yeah, I'm actually planning on getting back to doing video videos, not just the lives. And I have a challenge idea that I hope will be well, well received. We'll, we'll find out. But I'm going to put that up. Oh, yes. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. I blame Lorna for everything. I mean, you know, isn't that just the way it is? She was in charge of wardrobe when I did my video. She failed me. Absolutely failed me. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need to cut that back. Could just call this episode the Fumbling Crafter. I just couldn't figure out how to, you know, it seemed like I should hand sew the covers, the inside covers, because everything else was hand sewn. But I'll tell you what, if I spend the entire stream just doing one cover, the others might be um, sewn on the machine. Okay, Janet, was thinking of you. All right, let's see if we can uh, make this just a little bit neater which is a joke because of course it won't go straight, right? Yeah, my rotary colored cutter didn't wanna work right for me last night. I probably need to change the blade, but I, you know, it was just a day. And I guess the live streams are just gonna be those kind of things. Yeah, see, that's what's gonna happen. I don't know, people. Maybe I should just stitch it on the sewing machine. I suppose that whoever gets it can always 
mess around with it. Normally I like to do them where they're going to fray, but I just, again, it's the hand sewing thing. It's the hand sewing thing. So what is everybody working on today? Fill me in on what's happening with you. And then I will tell you the, uh, the scary thing that happened last night, at least as far as I was concerned, it was, it was about an hour of scary stuff. Yeah, Lorna, I didn't give you the preview. I should have done that. I know. All right, let's see. Let's see what kind of a... Let me just whip the sides together. Your fall junk journal. Nice. Sewing envelopes for journals. Envelopes made out of paper, made out of fabric, made out of napkins. Putting your craft room together. Yay. Jude, you made it. You're up early, huh? Hello, and thank you for sharing that for me. So, yeah, last night I go take Zoe outside. I'm so happy to see you here, Jude. Hope you're doing good. All right, let's see. It's not going to be a perfect whip stitch, but I think it'll be better than what I was going to do with the straight stitch. Went to take Zoe outside after she had dinner. And uh, I see this giant plume of smoke. Okay, it's not going to work that way either because of what I did with this. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with this. So I see this giant plume of smoke that is, um, ooh, hinges and a latch closure. Fun, Brenda. And the smoke looks like it's very close. It looks like it's up by the summit, which is just a couple miles from us. And then suddenly I hear the helicopters going and they're very loud because they're very close because the plume of smoke is very close. And then I see people gathering in the road out in front of our house because they want to watch the plume of smoke that is going crazy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whatever kind of a stitch this is all the way around and then I'll go around it a second time just to make sure it's nice and sturdy. Oh, Jude, thank you. Thank you so much, sweetheart. That is so kind. I miss you too. We've, we're going to have to coordinate some chat time when we're, it's so hard when you're on the other side of the world from me. Um, yeah, Beth, it was, it was scary. It was, you know, right. Well, I'm sure you saw the local posts. It was right up there by Santa's village, those new townhomes there. But, um, all of a sudden I panicked. I mean, when Beth was here on Monday, you know, we were talking about what it was like because she had to evacuate and we didn't, but we all had packed up and just um, thinking about the idea of doing that again, I, my brain just froze. It was so close. All I could think about was that we wouldn't have much time. If it came this direction, we were not going to have much time. And my brain just shut down. I couldn't remember where we had put anything. I knew where the one box of the important legal papers and banking papers were. And other than that, the suitcases were, you know, back up in the rafters. And um, yeah, it was a very scary time. Yeah. And uh, luckily our fire department was was on it right away. And the Cal Fire was on it right away. And they were dropping water because it was like, I don't know it was less than an hour until it was going to get dark and they weren't going to be able to um, to fly anymore. But I tell you what, my adrenaline was going like crazy the rest of the day. Absolutely crazy. Jude, what have you been working on lately? I know you've been busy working, working, but are you getting to do any good crafting at all? Any sewing? So, yeah, I'm... Um, hoping that this weekend we can, well, I'm hoping that the floor gets in this week so that my husband can get his office back together again. And then this weekend we can sort of make a better plan for what we need to pack up. Yes, we, we got really lucky and found in the garage um, during the last, you know, really bad fire found some of the nicer masks that are better for the smoke. And so we still have a few of those left and our air purifiers here. So luckily they got it out right away. The air quality here is not bad at all today, but last night was really, really scary as far as I was concerned. 
Slow stitching hearts. Nice. Thanks, Adele. I wish we didn't either. And it looks like, you know, this is just our new, our new normal, which uh, it just makes it really sad to think that this is, you know, I, I don't want to grow old in a place where I have to worry every season, you know, what's going to happen, except I don't want to move anywhere. I mean, this is, this is our heart home. Yeah, that's a good idea, Beth. Update the list. I, um, I put together a bunch of lists, the one you gave me and a few other that I found online. And I just, I was amazed at how my brain just completely shut down last night. It was just like, nope, I cannot go there. Gosh, I hope I'm not messing this up. I guess it's going to be okay. It's going to be a shabby, it's a shabby journal. You guys are going to be okay with that, right? <laughs> I'm just anxious to get these done and get the winners picked and get these shipped out. And, uh, off into the hands of the people that will have fun with them, I hope. Uh, finish some projects. But I am looking forward to getting back to doing videos again. Yeah, we want the rains, but you know what's going to happen out in the areas where the fires were so bad is there's going to be mudslides coming. I mean, there's just no way about it. There's nothing there to hold them down. And, you know, that's going to be another kind of scary. I mean, we shouldn't have, knock on wood, we shouldn't have that where we are at our side right now, but... Uh, for our, our anniversary was last weekend. And so we took a drive um, up to Half Moon Bay. Whoops. And that was taking us by part of the burned areas. And we stopped and, you know, got out and looked, didn't walk through it, you know, just looked from the side of the freeway. And it was just really um, very sobering to look at so much of the burn and think about, you know, it, it could have been us and how it could be us. Hey, Mitzi. How are you doing today? Was anybody here waiting for me, waiting for me to log on? Because I logged on early and yeah, I'm, I'm understanding the StreamYard stuff here. <clears throat> okay, my voice tells me it is time to hydrate. So we will get some more water. Thank you. 21 years with my best friend, guy who makes me laugh every single day, who puts up with all my craziness and who lets my arts and crafts stuff spill over into every room of the house. I would say not his office, except that both the printers are in his office too. So the, the poor man's got his little office space and then everything else I've got art stuff in every room of the house. And we do try and make it look nice. So it kind of blends in, but um, he's super indulgent. Okay. Yeah. So I figured out what I did. I, people were telling me to unlist the, um, live stream. So the Intel that the live chat showed up because last week's chat, we had this awesome chat and I wanted to go back and reread it and it didn't show up for two days. So nobody has viewed the live chat replay from last week. I mean, zero, but now I know what I'll do is I'll, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to, um, if the live chat's not there, it's not there and people just have to wait another day or two, but that's why I need to get back to making the other videos too. So that people just, they have more, they have shorter stuff. Not everybody wants to hang out for a couple hours. You know, you guys have your own stuff to do and your own videos to make and your own art stuff to do. So yeah, I'm, um, I've got, I'll do the giveaway video and I've got a small tutorial I was going to do and then um, some eco printing. And then I'm going to do a bunch of things on dyeing fabric. Year eight. Hi, Terry. You're not packing and moving. Congratulations on year eight and yay for being here. So happy to have you here. You haven't been able to join us for a long time because you've been so busy. You know, mar marriage is hard. And it's uh, when I hear about people that have been married 30, 40, 50 years, you know, I'm, I'm in awe. I mean, you know, I'm old enough that I could have been married that long. But, you know, this is not my first marriage. And I'm just I'm very grateful for the relationship and the growth that he encourages in me. And whenever I doubt myself, he's the first one right there to tell me to, you know, believe. 
Uh, okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to let it go, and just connect. There are probably Jude. You're probably cringing at some of the ways I'm stitching this, but Beth too. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, the, the contractor said that the floors would be going in this week. And we are now at Wednesday, and I've not heard from the contractor. The floors are, the, the wood floor is all over my husband's office, acclimating to the temperature there. And we have no date, so I hope it gets in this week, because that's going to be a day you can't really do much, because it's going to be noisy with all the hammering and sawing and stuffs. Hi, G. Hey, wait a minute. Did Tommy sneak in? Trying to. Oh, Tommy, hi. Oh, you got an offer accepted on your new home. That is awesome. Congratulations. Oh, exciting times to move and to a new place. Whoops. Sorry about that, Tommy. G, hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here joining us. I'm still getting the, the hang of StreamYard here. And my little touch screen makes it a little too easy to do that thing sometimes. So, G, what are you working on? What kind of stuff do you like to do? And, Tommy, so you probably don't have a whole lot of time to, to craft right now, then, if you're going to be packing, or have you been good and packing ahead of time? Probably would have liked it better if I'd gone the other way, huh? Like this. Let's see. If I go this way, I'll see. See, what I didn't do is I didn't square off the lace before I sewed it, before I pinned this thing together. Maybe we'll do that. We're going to switch. We'll go the other way, and that way you've got something pretty to look at at least, huh? <laughs> uh, all right. If I can get myself going the right direction. If I do. All right. A little awkward, but I think we can make this one work. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a little better. We can see what's going on. Hey, Joey, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while. Oh, Tommy, so it just happened. Oh, that's exciting. So you must have adrenaline going in, in happy circles for you. That's terrific. So are you going to a larger place or a smaller place or just a different place? They both offer challenges for the, the adjustments. I need to make myself get out to the garage. I keep saying that. I think I've been saying that for the last month, but I really need to find some way to organize out there because right now you can't walk through it. I need to move all my... Um, sticks and leaves and things that have been collecting outside. I need to get them into the garage before the rain starts. Ooh, a doll maker becoming obsessed with making cloth journals. Oh, nice. Have you um, seen or done the Ann Brook um, so, so for the soul stuff? I just made myself a knot. There's a lot of really great fabric books out there. And as you know, on my list, and Jude's bugging me to, to, to do that, and I, I will do that. This is, I'm, I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. The first one, that's the way it always happens, right? As stuff goes cattywampus on the first one, and then, then you get a hang of it. Let's see. Yeah, I think this will work. If I have to, I'll go back. Once everything's all stitched down, I can go back around off camera and uh, just do like a running stitch at the edges just to make sure. But I don't think anything's going to fall apart. It's not like you guys are going to be playing football with them, right? I'm catching up on chat here. I looked away. Hey, Sarah. Happy to have you here. Oh, isn't that funny, Brenda? I'm the same way with Joy's voice. There are a few people that um, I could just listen to all day long. Vicky's here. Hi, good evening. It's a wonderful series, um, G. Really, really nice series. 
and she knows her her stitches and she's uh, she's got an and Brooke um, has a beautiful voice to listen to too. Okay, come on, let's fess up. Those of us in the U.S., most of us really enjoy listening to the accents from the U.K. and Scotland and Ireland. I confess, I am a sucker for that. Hey, Joey, take it. Run with it. I want... I mean, besides her voice, I admire her energy because <laughs> she just gets stuff out there and she she produces beautiful videos that are lovely to watch as well as to listen to. And uh, I just seem to be so slow at everything, but it's just, you know, that's just me. All right, clean this up just a little bit. Okay, Jacqueline, get your homework done. We will see you later. All right, let's see if we go this. No, still, I'm I'm going the opposite direction like I was a left-hander. You guys are all friends, so you don't mind if I'm fumbling around here, and it's just a good time to hang out and chat. These do feel really cool. I'm excited to get them out in the mail, and I'm sorry I've drug it on for so long, but, um, you know, sometimes life just beats you up around the edges, and then we had the fires, and uh, wondering if we're going to evacuate, so now I kind of feel like, you know, I'm, I'm back on track, my brain is, is thinking about art stuff. Well, so see, Brenda, you're a South Boss, so you might... You, this direction would work for you. I just, I should have, I wasn't thinking about giving you guys something pretty to look at. Oh, Vicki, that is funny. Your son is a uh, UK born and bred, but he speaks with an American accent. Is that too much TV? <laughs> is that what does that? I knew a um, guy in a band once that, you know, he was, you know, born in the South and had this Southern drawl. <laughs> But when he sang, the drawl disappeared, and then he could sing a song by someone from a different country that had, you know, th that, a different kind of an accent, and he could just mimic really, really well. It was interesting. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, G. This, um, I started these. I started these when we were all packed up for the evacuation for the fires in our area. I'm in California. And I started them because when I, I didn't want to unpack, we weren't going to be evacuated, but I didn't want to unpack. And I didn't have a whole lot of fabric left on the shelves. I'd packed up a bunch of stuff and this was a bunch of lace scraps. And that's what started it was just stitching my lace scraps to a piece of old sheet. And then it felt so good. And then I wanted to do some embroidery on top of it. And I learned a lot. This is not um, something that I've done very much of, but I'm really enjoyed it. And I'm going to definitely do some more of. Oh, interesting, Vicki. I did not know that. Well, you learn something new every day. My husband told me the other day I woke up and I said that I'd had some really strange dreams. He said it was the cheese that you ate. I said, what? And he said, yeah, there was a study that eating certain kinds of cheese before bed, um, can give you some interesting dreams and different kinds of cheese can give you different dreams, which was something I had not heard before. But then I went and looked up the study and evidently it's true. Yeah, I think Tommy, what I'm going to do is because they were all done in live streams when I was, when life was like crazy. So I think I'm going to go do a short, you know, I'll do a short series where I do the whole thing because, um, like I said earlier, nobody wants to, not, not, I shouldn't say nobody, but not many people want to watch an older live stream if they can't catch it live. I mean, maybe if you're famous, but that's not me, at least not yet. So yeah, Victoria, I did it the other day. I absolutely went on camera and um, it wasn't that I was afraid to go on camera, you know, to do the work. It was that I was very self-conscious about how I looked and um, I used to do a lot of public speaking, you know, to promote my books 
but that was a long time ago. And I did not set anything up properly for, you know, doing of the, you know, there's a lot of things to set up if you want to, you know, light yourself right, you know, for a person rather than a journal. But I was just racing the clock and uh, we made it work. And maybe the fact that it was just kind of crazy making, um, maybe that lent some energy to the video. I just wish, you know, I thought, <clears throat> I, I want more people to see it. I want, it's an important video and, you know, I appreciate those of you that have shared it around. Um, I just really want more people to see it because it's just so important to get people to think right about taking images from Pinterest. Oh, you saw it, Tommy. Yay. <laughs> Thank you to anybody who watched and who left great comments that were very encouraging to me. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, that's interesting. So speech therapist, so he picked it up. So he's probably got a great, um, he could probably pick up other accents too, huh? All right. I'm all wonky here. Yeah, I'll do, um, well, maybe that's what I should do instead. I'll do the giveaway thing. Now, I know one, one quick video I can do <clears throat> trying to get the traction back on my channel again because since I hadn't been doing any shorter videos and since people don't really tend to rewatch the older videos very, or the old live streams very often, you know, I lost a lot of traction on my channel and that, you know, made me sad because I've been working so hard to build it up. So I need to get a bunch start pumping out some shorter videos. I've got some, I got another uh, Etsy shop share to do, but I'll do a couple short tutorials. Ah, oh, thank you. So I need to find you guys some more places that I can share some more locations for uh, images. And then I want to talk a little bit more about copyright, but I want to make them short videos that are not going to overwhelm you because I know it gets to be too much to bring in, especially if you're somebody that just, if I'm people that don't want to follow the rules, I kind of want to beat them over the head bit by bit rather than all at once. They just tune me out. <clears throat> uh, all right. Yeah, it it definitely looks shabby chic. <laughs> well, it looks shabby. I don't know about the chic part, but it looks shabby. <laughs> but like I said, whoever gets these, the idea is you can, you know, they're not, I'm not going to stitch the pages in. I'm just going to, I, I picked out some, sorry. I'm not going to show you guys everything today. So I want you to be surprised when you see the video for the giveaway. And for those of you that came in late, I will post that video probably on Friday is what I'm thinking. Um, and you'll have to watch the video all the way through because I'm going to ask you a couple questions that you'll have to answer. And you won't know, know the questions until you get to the end. Because I just, I really want to make it that my subscribers, and I'm not going to say giveaway in the, remember, I'm not going to say giveaway in the title because I want the people, you know, you guys that are here all the time, I want you to be the ones that get the chance to win something. So that is the plan. It is a huge, huge issue. Oh, funny. Yeah, so many, just like we have all the different, you know, accents, depending on what part of the United States you live in there in the UK, we, we everybody lumps it together. But <clears throat> even uh, I can tell, oh, you're from a different part of the UK than this person is, usually when we're watching um, TV. Yeah, copyright, there, there's the people that really want to follow the rules, and then there's the people who think the rules don't belong to them. And it's, um, you know, we all know, you know, people that have had stuff stolen, you know, their own stuff stolen. <clears throat> but then there's, you know, paintings, you know, famous paintings that you would think, oh, well, you know, it was from the 40s, it's okay, and somebody posted on Pinterest. It's like, no, it's not old enough, and, you know, this, this person's still alive and still painting or something. <clears throat> Janet's back. Oh, thank you. So you did see it. Thank you. 
Yeah, I just uh, <clears throat> hopefully it'll gain traction over time. <clears throat> I need a lot of water today. Uh, at least I didn't sit down and do um, yet another video about my little nature clusters. Although that is one of the tutorials I'm going to do too, is that uh, rather than two hours of a live stream, I know it doesn't sound like you need a tutorial, but it's really interesting. You, you have to remember that there's so many things that I'm doing it again, huh? I'm going the other direction. Oh, well. We're going to let this one go. The next one will be different. Um, you got to remember that there are people that have never done stuff before. When you're showing something, or I should I say you, I need to remember that when I'm showing how to do something, there are people that have maybe seeing it for the first time. They've never, you know, they haven't watched a hundred videos like I have on the topic and it's all new to them. So Janet, are you still working on your nautical journal or are you doing something else? Yeah, I could see another piece of lace on the inside, but I mean, if I don't stop messing with these, I'm never going to get out of here. They're just going to sit around in my studio and I'll keep messing with them. So I need to move on. I'm talking with several people lately and, and many of us have the same problem, which is finishing stuff. Yeah. I just, uh, trying to get to the point where I finish. Plus if I finish, then I have more room, you know, I move stuff out. I can sell stuff and um, make some money, which will give me more money to go buy other stuff. Right. That's how that works. Let's see if we can trim this just a little bit without cutting any of the stuff I don't want to cut. Yeah, since I was doing this on the fly, I definitely did not measure out like I normally I would measure my outside cover and my inside cover at the same time, you know, cut them out at the same time. So I would know everything was going to match up. But I didn't even realize these were going to become journal covers when I first started them. Only five unfinished projects. Oh, you're a slacker. Absolute slacker. <laughs> All right, let's have a count. Lorna, how many unfinished journals do you have sitting there? Yeah, weird mood world lately. I can hear that. I've got, we'll see, I've got my glam journals to finish. So that's the big order. And, uh, you know, now that things are somewhat back to normal, I think I can just turn on the video and work on them and chat. Um, I probably won't do it as a live stream, but I'll just do it like a craft with me. And then I've got a bunch of notebooks that are three quarters of the way done. I just on the cover, I just need to put something on the spine. And there's about 50 of those I plan to get out for the holidays. <sighs> Only five. You know, I would love to come help you. Wouldn't that be fun? Are they all hearts projects or more? I'm, um, I'm going to get these guys done. I'm going to get the big glam journals done. I'm going to get the notebooks done. I'm going to get, well, and then if you, if you count tutorials and videos that aren't done, there's about 11 videos. I think that's what I counted this morning. 11 videos I would like to film soon. You know, and I have to juggle things around my husband's work schedule because, you know, he's working at home and the place is so small and the voices carry. So during a live stream, I don't worry about it as much. Um, because you guys understand it's all live. But if I'm recording a video with a tutorial, I like to make sure I do that at a quiet time. Oh, yeah, the digital kit projects. Well, let's, you know, I haven't put out a new kit in ages, and I feel really bad about that. But I, uh, I plan on rectifying that real soon, but there's probably about 20 of those in various stages of completion. Oh dear. Let's see. How am I going to, I need to knot this in such a way that it can be hidden. Okay. Party at Jude's house to help her finish her projects. You got room for us all right, Jude.
it seems like you're not you, you say you're not that fast and yet we turn around and it seems like you plump out the stuff pretty fast to us so i don't know Lauren. i'm not sure if i'm buying it all right let's take a look what does it look like this is the green one and it looks like i have something here that i did weird okay i'll have to go back and fix that i can fix that i can tuck that in but here we go so the inside stitching is kind of wonky um but it's okay right it's okay feels good 48 envelopes wow huge place okay party at jude's house that's it i'm ready to go here we'll work on the janet's blue journal because <laughs> i know this is the one she wants to win i know i'm a jerk you're a jerk we love each other Anybody that's listening to this later has to know that Lorna is one of my dearest friends and uh, we give each other a bad time because we know we can take it and we make each other laugh when the world around us is making us crazy. All right, let's see if we can do a better job figuring this one out. Um, so if I square it off first, that would be the best thing to do, right? Let's get some of this. Thank you. I'm I'm really happy with these. I just maybe that's why I'm not finishing them is I don't want to let them go, but I need to get them out to you guys because there's so many other projects I want to finish or start. Projects I haven't even started yet. Next week is going to be all about the paper. Well, we still have some warm weather left. I'm not sure how much more of it's going to be and stuff's not going to dry as fast as it did in the summer, but there's a lot of stuff, a lot of papers to make, and I'm going to do some um, fabric dyeing. Every time I post a video about dyeing fabric with the various things that we would normally do with our papers, people want to know about whether something is color fast and whether it's going to wash out. And it's like, well, I'm not doing these things to, to wash them, but I think I need to do some experiments. Hi, Nelda. Welcome. Happy to have you here. What are you working on today? All right. This, which one's inside, which one's out? That is the right side. So, pretty close on that. Okay. Thread. Yeah, don't watch, watch your journals. However, do be careful. Beth and I were talking about this on uh, Monday, and I know that Donna Phillips has done a video showing how this happens. Be careful if you use waxed pages because the wax will transfer to your other pages in your journal uh, when things get hot. Hello there. Oh, shoot. I'm blanking out on your name. I'm so sorry, Diane. No, Dandelion Dream. I forgot. Help me out. I'm happy to see you here. I remember you're an earth science teacher. I remember that part. <laughs> All right. Let's see now if I can do it in a way that makes sense for me going right-handed. Diane. Okay, I was I was close. I was thinking D and then I stutter stepped. All right, if I go. All right, we'll see if this will work this way, except that's not that's so close to the edge. Ah, why do I second guess myself through all of this stuff? Do I have it the right side out? It's so hard with these brocades, but I thought, well, it's a nice sturdy fabric. How would I do this if I was if I wasn't on video I would, I would go this direction oh homemade paper okay actually i have two versions of that i have the traditional version and i have a cheat version with um napkins and i know you've seen some people doing that and i kind of wanted to make it a little more i don't know i have my version so that's a good suggestion. Thank you, Brenda. Another thing to do while the weather here is still nice. All right. 
The first stitch is always the hardest, right? So Diane, today we are getting the inside covers sewn on the giveaway journals because these guys have got, have got to run the giveaway and get these journals out to whoever wins them because um, I'm afraid to work on something else. You know, I've got commitments and a really long to-do list. And so I want to get them done so that they can get out and I can move on to some other stuff. I actually really want to make a whole bunch of kits for you guys. I realized I had a bunch of uh, hardback books that were already covered in a base fabric. And how, oh, I should put these together with kits. And But yeah, so I, I want to get these out to you, get the run of the giveaway, make sure that you watch the video that'll do the flip through of these when they're all put together. Okay, Tommy, it was love to see you. Love seeing you here. And good luck on the new house and the move. No, but you know what I may, I don't have a short to-do list, but Lorna, what I do is I put them um, one at a time on a post-it note. <laughs> so then it's not quite so overwhelming. And then I just rearrange the post-it notes. I actually crossed two things off my list today before I came on. Um, I got up a lot earlier than I'd planned on. Zoe has not been feeling great. That's my dog, for those of you that don't know. And she's not been feeling great lately and today she finally seems to be on the men but she wants to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and i'm one of those people i mean my husband could get up you know in the middle of the night take her out have all the lights on come back in the house and crash you know in like five minutes and me i lay awake if i take her out you know and i try not to have him do it during the week work week but if i take her out it takes me forever to go back to sleep so i've been going on low sleep lately You had a short to-do list last year? Yeah, it's a never-ending to-do list, that's for sure. You know, and prioritize. I tried doing a bullet journal, and I decided that was definitely not for me because I spent more time doing that. It was just like another way to procrastinate finishing anything. <clears throat> but I have things with deadlines. It was like, oh, my car had to be smogged. I had to finally called and made the appointment on that. And then I realized with the um, evacuation and stuff that perhaps I had not um, checked the mailbox in time to renew my mailbox. And sure enough, it had come up to be renewed and I called the gal and was able to do all that over the phone. But it was like, you know, I... And sometimes just doing, you know, a couple little things like that is like exhausting. It feels like I, you know, ran a marathon. I had prescriptions to pick up and bless my husband's heart for going out. And, you know, he runs those kind of errands. He's got these long legs and he can zip into the store and out again really fast. A lot better than I can. Plus, I get sidetracked. You know, there's not a single store I can go into without stopping. You know, even now, I haven't gone shopping. I mean, I haven't gone inside a store since March. I haven't gone inside a store of any kind since March. Crochet scrubbies. Oh, fun. So, yeah, on my to-do list the rest of today is finish these journals. That's it, my da daily list. A friend gave me what I thought was a great tip, the one list that I do maintain because I'm ordering so much online all the time now. Uh, I forget what's supposed to be coming in, especially since our mail is kind of sporadic sometimes. So I keep a list of incoming things that I'm expecting rather than having to go, you know, because it's coming from several different sites and, you know, it's not just everything coming from Amazon. And uh, that's been really helpful because I had stuff coming from eBay and Etsy and Macy's and Amazon and a couple of other places and I would forget. It's like, oh, did I get everything or not? Because then everything sits in the sunroom for a few days before we get around to, you know, opening it. And <clears throat> so that's been really helpful. So I keep an incoming list. Yeah. You made 20? Wow. I crocheted a little bit when my kids were little, so that's like 40 years ago. 
And I think in the cedar chest, there's still one little blanket that uh, I made when my, I was pregnant with my son. But I wasn't very good at it, so I... I tend to, if it's something that I'm not good at and I'm not getting like tons and tons of joy out of um, doing, then I tend to not keep doing it. And I still owe you guys an updated craft room tour as I reorganized everything. I mean, it's still the same space, but I changed a few things around. After four pages. Oh, geez, Janet. The one thing I would like to crochet would be where you take old fabric and rip it up into strips and you can crochet like a big rag rug. But um, I don't know. I, I, I guess I was in my 20s when I tried something like that and didn't do well. Maybe I should try it again. Back in my 20s, I was still hearing that art teacher tell me how I wasn't any good at anything and I should just give up anything artsy related. So I heard his voice a lot. <clears throat> so here in the States we have Halloween coming up and then we have Thanksgiving. I'm wondering what people are going to be doing um, here in our town. We're not seeing people want to go out trick or treating with, they're doing a drive-by haunted houses. I guess the high school is doing a drive-through haunted house of some kind because they normally have a, they, it's a big fundraiser for them to do their haunted house every year. Thanksgiving, people are going to have to make some hard decisions about whether they want to spend time with family or not, if that's something that they would normally do. Yeah, you got to do what, what sparks your joy. You really do. Which is why after 30 years in the publishing industry, I discovered, well, I took the joy in writing. I did not, um, working in the industry, I, I wasn't getting as much joy from it as I used to. And going around and promoting my books was not as exciting as it used to be. And it was very easy then for me to say, you know, I'm, I, I think it's time for me to move on. Although I got a... Um, fan letter from a gal the other day from a, a student and I haven't had one of those in the last year or two so that was kind of fun and I was chatting with a writing friend well she's a friend friend because I've known her for 35 years but um, we came together through writing and we were talking about our history of our friendship and I ended up going back through some files and reading some old essays I'd written and I got a little bit of a, I was like, oh, I need to figure out how I can use some of my old writing in my art somehow. Let's see, I need to be able to page up and I remember not to touch it. <laughs> you go big or go home, Brenda. Smaller things are too tedious. Ah, well, there's that. So Lorna, did you have family come in for Thanksgiving or are you guys all just right there? Wait a minute, who's got, whoa, fines for handing out treats. That's amazing. Is it illegal because of, uh, because of COVID or was it before that? Yeah, 26th of November here. My favorite part about Thanksgiving is the stuffing <laughs> and the pumpkin pie. <laughs> Oh, three, third tier three lockdown. Mm. If you just do it on your own, then you don't have to worry about, you know, connecting with family. <clears throat> Normally we would go to my in-laws for all the holiday stuff and we haven't had any discussions around what we're going to do this year. I mean, they're only a half hour away. It's not like we would get on a plane, but still you got to, you got to think. All right, I need to cut some of this off. And I can 
see a little bit of the stitching. So yeah, next time I do these, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be a little bit more precise. I can't say that I will be because precise is not something I do a lot of. All right. I already forgot what I was doing, how I was doing it. That's still too much lace there. Shabby chic, shabby chic. Okay, I need to be okay. Shabby chic. Yeah, we, we don't have people visit here. Well, mostly people don't want to drive out to where we are, but um, we don't have a guest room, so they have to be willing to come out and turn around and go back home again. And in the summertime, because we live in a touristy area, you know, the traffic's usually bad, so people don't want to come over for that. So and my husband and I are, are kind of hermit-like, so... We're okay being home, but I mean, I, I miss his parents visiting with them. So we're going to try and head over there before the weather shifts and at least have an in-person visit. Always do that. Do you guys do that where you wait too long to the end of the thread? It's like you should have stopped and made a knot earlier. <laughs> Only two doors away. Hi again. Is it Sarah? Is that who is header? I, can't, I don't even know how to say your name. Oh, Brenda, to, have, to be a chef and not have anybody to cook for, that's got to be frustrating. Wow. There you can see my messy backsides. It's a horrible mess. Oh, well. The stuff stays down. That's the main thing, right? The stuff stays down. Okay, let's get a little knot in here. Official embroiderers, just close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, my husband loves to cook, and I'm very grateful because I do not enjoy it. I have a few things I can do pretty well, but he's the, he's the main one. And thankfully, you know, for him, it's very relaxing. For me, it's very stressful. So we, um, but we always try and cook enough that we can put some in the freezer for multiple meals too. Let's see here. I got a page up. I missed some stuff. Terry, it's okay. Happy to have you here in, in whatever form we can have you. I know it's been a while since you and I have been able to chat. Oh, Diane, I bet. Yeah, my mom lives in Arizona and I'm in California, so we haven't seen each other for quite a while. But we normally see his parents, you know, once a month or so. And it's <clears throat> it's been hard. It's a lot of changes. Oh, wow. Chef for the oil rigs. Those guys can eat. When I lived in Louisiana, I worked for uh, an oil company. <clears throat> what kind of a restaurant did you have, Brenda? Did it Was it like a, a certain type of cuisine? Yeah, Janet, what's with your bosses always asking you questions and expecting you to do work while you're you know, watching videos. I know Beth does the same thing. She watches while she's, you know, at work. I appreciate the support when you guys squeeze it in like this. I guess I could have done that. I could have, oh, well, we're just, we're going with it, right? We're, we're going to roll with these covers the way they come out. All right, so it's, you know, when I'm not, filming. I'll definitely be able to finish these today. So let's, let's plan on, for those of you that want a chance to win one, let's plan on the video walkthrough of these journals going up on Friday. And the clients too. <laughs> ah, so it was a family restaurant, family type restaurant. What's your favorite type of stuff to cook? My two things that I make well are the pulled pork and, um, Tacos. Everything else I leave to my husband. But, you know, we can't Hi, Took. Happy to hear you here.
What journal is absolutely fabulous, Janet? Sorry, I looked away here. I got to go back. Okay. Yeah, so they're almost done. I am I'm really anxious to get these guys done. My husband's going to cook skirt steak tonight for dinner. Oh. He does that really well. Lots of cilantro. We we are in the cilantro loving family wildlife portion oh awesome oh thank you janet your journal right isn't this the one you want to win <laughs> sorry if i was going out of frame there guys the dreaded pizzas <laughs> you did not like making pizza it's hard to be kind of a family restaurant where you have to appeal to so many different tastes, I would bet. Ooh, seafood. Mm. So yeah, these these journals have been a very good education for me, and I am definitely going to be doing more of it. I I haven't had them to work on, you know, since I finished all the embroidery in the evenings, and I'm hadn't picked another project to do as far as stitching went, and you know, I really miss it. I find that I was, you know, playing words with friends on my iPad and I didn't want all that screen time in the evenings while we were watching TV. So I definitely need to get some more of these ready. Oh, wow, Victoria, that sounds fabulous. A burger van. Mmm, burgers. We had hamburgers for dinner last night. My husband was going to cook last night and his meetings ran late. And he's like, I'm going to run out and grab us burgers. That sounds really cool. Is he able then to keep the burger van going now with, co well, I mean, I guess not with the lockdown stuff that you guys have got going on, but I would imagine that he was popular, uh, during these times when we couldn't go into a lot of places and sit down, you could still hopefully do some takeout and do some business. I always cut my threads way too long and then I get lots of knots. The one thing I like about StreamYard over what I was streaming with before with just through YouTube is the font is a little bigger since my, um, Eyes aren't so good. Oh, bye, Angela. Thanks for hanging out here for a while. It's happy to see you. Hey there, Alba. I am working on some journals for a giveaway. These are some um, lace scraps that were sewn down, and I did some embroidery over the top of them. And I'm just putting the covers on, the inside covers on, but there's five of them because I hit 5,000 subscribers. And uh, I'm going to give away five journals. And the uh, walkthrough of the journals or the flip through of the journals will be posted probably on Friday. So you'll have to watch that about the giveaway. This class at the restaurant, but also I'll take away. Oh, that's good. And he's he's doing all fresh foods. That's that's the way to go. And I think some businesses are are probably thriving. I mean, of course, a lot of them we've lost a lot of stuff but some of them you know if they can reposition themselves a little bit i was kind of surprised to see which restaurants in our area had closed off and and you know didn't care about being careful they weren't ones that we wanted to go to anymore anyways but yeah i'm working on on the one that janet wants to win i already know that if janet wins her choice is going to be the blue one so we have blue and we have brown I should show these for those of you that haven't seen them all. Let's do this. Let's, we've got the blue and the fronts have beading on them. And then we have the brown. And so these are half size um, journals is what I call them because it's, you can take your regular size piece of paper and cut it in half and they fit that way. And then there's purple. This was the one you liked, right, Brenda? <laughs> 
And then we have the multicolor. And then we have green. Ah, uh, Took, you're going to fight Janet for the blue. Awesome. <laughs> It's funny, I don't do a lot with blue, and yet when I was going through my fabric, I have so much blue fabric. It's like I need to make a bunch of things, you know, with blue journals because I've got so much blue fabric. I mean, I know I had some because of doing the landscape um, textile pieces, and I wanted a variety of blues for the sky, but I was a little surprised to find out how much blue I had been holding on to. Oh, I bet. Yeah, you get your little bit of normal by being able to have your brother cook for you and support him and keep him going. Yeah, I, I miss, you know, we had our book group last night via Zoom and because we're just doing, you know, the free version, you know, we only get like 40 minutes to, to chat. And we used to go out to dinner once a month and chat for a couple hours and you know, we'd spend five minutes talking about the book and then a couple hours getting caught up on everything. And, and I miss that. I'm, I'm, that's probably one of that and Thursday night pub trivia. Those are the two normals that I miss. Blue or purple for you. Hey, Margaret, how are you doing today? What are you up to? I'm actually finishing these off. I'm getting the inside covers stitched on at last. <clears throat> hydrate, Susan. Hydrate. Ugh. <laughs> Jude is for the green, too. Huh? <laughs> I love my green. When I was a kid, my mom always dressed me in pastel colors. And uh, it was a long time, but, you know, I just kind of, that was my wardrobe for a long time. And it took me a while to figure out I really liked the jewel colors best of all. But green was not my color. I mean, purple was my color for years. And I think green just kind of came when I got into gardening. And it just... I don't know. Now I just can't get enough of it. Wait a minute. I missed, I missed chat again. Every time I look away, I see I miss things. Okay. Yeah. There's something about um, getting a journal from somebody else too, that just kind of puts a different, I don't know. It puts a different feeling to it. I'm very excited. I had I was able to get in on a custom order from somebody that isn't going to do them anymore, and I'm I'm anxious. She's working on it now, so I'm very anxious to to get that one. You know, the journals that I buy are um, are for inspiration to support a friend, and then to the inspiration. Because we all do the same. It's like, oh, here's a pocket. But we all do pockets maybe just a little bit differently. Doing this a little different on that stitch just because I didn't cut all that lace off. But I did add a few things that you guys haven't seen to go in here. So at least when you see the flip through, you see them all together. And I decided I'm, I'm not going to stitch the papers in. I'm just going to do a loose tie because then if you want to take them out and decorate them, uh, do something else. Well, that was silly of me. I just cut my own thread right off before I could make a knot. Silly, silly Susan. This is going to be interesting. Let's see. Maybe. I wonder if I could get away with this. Let's see. We're going to see if we can. No, that's not going to work. Rather than unpicking all of that, if I can just tie a longer thread to this, and then I can make a knot that way. You guys can go right ahead and give, get your giggles. This is your giggle for the day. 
I went to cut a piece of lace and I cut the stitch stitching thread. All right, so if we do this, we got these two little, little bits here. Let's do one more knot just to be sure. And then I can hide it in between the. All right. Now, re thread the needle. Hey, Lorna, take off. I understand. You get some rest. Oh, a stitching journal. That's a good idea. I really want to do um, just a fabric book and I also needle book. Okay, my to-do list, it's getting longer again. I want to do some needle books. I, I figure if I did some smaller ones of these, they could be needle books. I just want the energy that I had in my 30s, you know? Somehow when you're 60, you don't have the same energy that you had when you were 30. You also can't thread a needle quite as easily. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to do some tricky stuff here and see if we can tuck that knot in. All right. I want to hide that. Ah, I think this is going to work. And then we're going to come back in here and just hide it that way. Whew, close call. Get the needle threaded just a little more. One more knot, one more knot, one more knot. Almost there and success. Okay. Whew. Always these little diversions when you're working on a project. So Adele, what are you working on today? Did you tell us earlier? Alba, what are you doing? Oh, hi. Book Vandal Shop is in the house. How are you doing today? You snuck in when I wasn't looking. I am fumbling my way around, stitching my covers together here. Let's see here. I'm, I, how did I miss all this stuff? I was concentrating on something else. So Don, thank you. I'm glad you popped in. I understand if you can't stay, you are a busy, busy lady, but happy to see you here. Oh, Margaret, I'm jealous. Your daughter and your granddaughter and your son-in-law here. Oh, man. I got a package for my son. Does that count? <laughs> Let's see here. I got a kid. I'm, I'm getting caught up. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Well, Jan Janet's hoping that she's going to win the blue one. I'm not going to stack the deck against friends or for my friends, but you know, if people don't enter, one thing that's in you, you, the the you guys' favor is that um, I'm not getting a lot of views right now on my channel. So those of you that are in the live and that are going to know that this video is going to go up on Friday will have um, a better chance of winning. All right, I'm getting caught up on all my chat here. Wait a minute. Uh, catching up here, here. It is very relaxing, Don, even when you don't know what I what you're doing, which is pretty much me most of the time on this. The, um, the covers, doing the covers were very relaxing once I figured it out. Putting these edges on, because I got the bright idea since the covers were slow stitched that I should slow stitch the inside covers to them to finish them off. And that is proving to be um, not challenging, just <laughs> an adventure. All of this stuff is an adventure. So, oh, okay. 
I just need some energy pills. All anybody that's you know in their thirties that's watching, you know, send me some of your energy, please. I used to have so much energy then. I mean, I guess that's why we have kids when our younger when we're younger is because we have the energy to chase them around. Because uh I take so long to do everything, and I I enjoy the process, but I just get frustrated when you have so many things that you want to accomplish, and you just don't move that fast anymore. Alba, I'm going to post the um, flip through of these journals on Friday, and it is not going to say giveaway anywhere in the title. So the fact that you're here will know that you need to watch the whole video, and then I will give instructions on how to enter in the video. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I don't have people that are not normally subscribers, um, you know, just watch the video because it says giveaway and try to enter because I really want those of you that are supporting my channel to be the ones that have the best chances to win. And I've got five of them. So I will be giving away five journals and they will be filled with papers and bits of ephemera that you can, you know, so you can take it apart. You can, it's a deconstructed journal. So you can take it apart and do whatever you want with it, or you can leave it as it is. <laughs> You've not slow stitch any more beach seaweed garbage. I love that phrase. That was a really neat piece. I'm wanting to do my little clusters big. I want to do a wall hanging. And I've got some interesting things that I have been saving out on the deck. Oh, wow. How did I make that knot? Um, that I want to try and figure out how I, it's going to be very 3D. Wow, I must like you guys, the fact that I am doing all this fumbling here on camera because this is, what did I do? Ah, I shouldn't make my threads too long. I know anybody that does a lot of embroidery would tell me that. You're welcome, Alba. Margaret, you've been very, very good at following up on your classes. I just keep signing up for classes and then forgetting to follow up on them, although I'm looking forward to Roxanne's class next month. I have my tin all ready to go. Roxanne Evans Stout has got a new class that's starting on jeanoliver.com. And so I'm looking forward to taking that because she's always very inspiring to me. Well, let's see. It's taken me an hour and this will be two of them done. So maybe I can get one more done <laughs> the next hour. We'll see. Oh, well. It was a perfect description. It worked absolutely perfectly. All right. I'm not quite sure how to effectively. Let's see. Maybe we take a few back stitches to, you know. I don't want a knot to show. If we come through here, we go back in here. I guess the one hard thing with slow stitching. The wall hanging I'm going to do will probably be earthy colors, the first one. So lots of browns and rusts. Um, I want to use some of my rust dyed fabric and uh, I have some rusty objects. I've got some really interesting pieces of wood that I've been saving and wire. So very earthy colors. I've got a spot in the new sunroom that I would like to put a wall hanging on. And then I also want to make a, um, we've got a weird light box, electrical box that they had to cover. And it's like, 12 inches, I want like a narrow space to go over the top of the door, but the, the light box, you know, it's just like the light switch box, but it has to have a metal plate over it. So I want to make a piece of art to go over that. I'm thinking since it's in the sunroom, I might just do a welcome thing of some kind. Okay, I'm going to hide this into this thread somewhere. There we go. That's what I wanted. Pull it through in the center, and then because it's fabric, I can. Ah. 
do not do what I do and make these super long threads just because you don't want to have to keep rethreading the needle because it does get in the way. All right, let's get, there we go. And you can pull it snug like this and cut it. And then the thread disappears back in there. All right. We've been remodeling forever. <laughs> Bye, Beth. Thank you for coming. Yeah, we bought a fixer upper, Alba. And so we have been working on the fixer upper for five years. Okay, this is another one that's not straight. And so we're at the tail end. We are waiting for the floors to go into my husband's office. They are being acclimated. The flooring is being acclimated right now. And we are waiting for the electrician to come um, get the electrical in the sunroom, which is uh, a room that we put on that was going to join the um, garage to the house so we didn't have to go outside in the weather to get to the garage, which is where we store the excess of things like toilet paper and paper towels and stuff. But the electrician has, you know, we've been ready for him for like the last month and he's just been so busy. He hasn't been able to get over here. I have a lot of lace overhang here. So see, that's what, the reason I was going to sew these on by the sewing machine is I could have left that more of that lace overhang, but that'll be for another time. It's okay. Yeah, I really like the multicolor one a lot more than I thought I would. And I love this fiber. This It's got just these different textures all over it. Ooh, patches. That's a great idea for mailing, Jude. I have those squares, you know, that I started off. Um, and that we had talked about doing something with those and uh, sewing them into a fabric book. But I love the idea of patches. I've seen some people do like giveaway kind of things where they had people send something in. That would be really fun. Although I always feel bad, you know, asking people to send things in. Maybe just do a challenge. Like a, I've had a couple of ideas for challenges, but that might be an even easier one is to just do a um, what you can do with one square. We all sent one in that color. Oh, so we could do the, okay. So if each of us picked a color, sort of like that, um, that shoot, there's the book, the art journaling book from ages ago where there were, I don't know, maybe six or eight different artists and they picked a color for their journal and then they passed the journal around and everybody did pages in that person's journals. So kind of like the collaboration that Roxy Creations and Ann Brooke and a few other people are doing, if we each did a square, so, if, you know, I was doing green, I wanted green and you wanted blue or purple and somebody else wanted red and we each did squares in those, we would have to limit interesting so you're getting fabric snippets from india costs 52 dollars with shipping yes. for 75 pieces of four by four snippets it seems like that's a pretty good i mean if that includes the shipping for 75 pieces i bought some um indigo scraps from australia and they were, I think I got 50 scraps for about $30. And that was just scraps. That was nothing else. Okay, wait a minute here. We got to. Okay, I, I love, oh, a circle journal. Ooh. Okay, I. Jude, I'm loving this idea. I'm loving this idea. So what, um, hmm, how many, we'd have to figure out how many people we could do because, you know, if we'd limited it to like colors or squares, 
we do colors or would we just say a variety of squares? If we said squares or circles, we said everybody. Okay, let's decide here. Would we want to do squares or circles? And everybody that wants to participate would have to be willing. So if there were 10 people participating, you would do 10, say 10 squares and send one to each person or what? She's thinking. <laughs> I know you can see the smoke, right? Oh, that's a good one too. You're right. Um, Diane, check out our more, what the, the name, just copy and paste the name that Victoria did because I've gotten some stuff from her too and it's been very nice and the prices are very reasonable. All right, this is too big. Okay, those of you here that would like to do a collaboration, a, a stitched collaboration, let's talk about how we want to do it. Would we want to do, okay, circles or squares, that's the first question. And would we limit it to X number of people or would we, like depending on how many people were interested, trying to figure out how we would organize something like that. Would you want to do 10 of something to send out or would you want to do only one and trade with people? I forgot, how's, um, how's Rachel doing hers? They're each making, there's like six people and they're each making something for each person. Hey, Liz. Hey, Deborah and Bonnie, look at that. Oh, my favorite people, love it. All right, you guys, watch my community tab. I will put up a poll so we can sort of zero in. But, okay, if we did friendship squares, I mean, would you be willing to do, how many squares would you personally be willing to do to send, you know, to different people? Hey, Shelby. Happy to see you here. Hi, Nettie. All right. See, that got me out of moving forward here. I got to get these guys done. One square per person per month. All right. So this could be maybe a challenge to start in January. If we did 12 people and hmm, or start before January. Help me out here, guys. Tell me what you want. I'll, I'll organize it, but you got to tell me what you want. Okay, we'll do squares. Took, yeah, you're right. We could do them in groups of five or five or six. Yeah, five or six, depending on how we would want to. Um, I'm thinking of a wall hanging, but maybe now if we're doing more, we could do them um, in as a book page. Or we could make a book like this, and each square could be a page in the book. Mary, I think the idea would be to do, you know, we could do two things. We could either a square of any kind, we could give guidelines and say, okay, you know, I, um, this is my favorite color. This is a color that I'm not crazy about. Um, and do whatever you want from there. Just any kind of, you know, stitching simple or embellished that you want. So one square per month. So it would be our 2021 challenge, our 2021 slow stitch challenge. And depending on the number of people that were interested, um, so if you did one square per month, okay, this, this is getting into math, guys. Somebody has to help me out here. So say we had, okay, we've got 12 months and we have 12 people. How does that work? Based on the colors that person wanted, okay. You, one per month, but then I feel like I'm missing something very basic. <laughs> I am, I'm missing something very basic. All right, so say there were, there were 10 of us that wanted to do it. So we would make 
10 squares per month. Is that how that would work? And send them to each, if there were, every month we'd be sending. How would it work, people? It's it's measurements. <laughs> Doesn't matter. New So that's 144 squares. That's a lot. That's a lot of squares, huh? Um, and then what if people don't want to commit for the whole year, too? Okay, here's another idea. Every month, hmm. Yeah, so Rachel's doing one square this month. And so if we did it, if it was a six month challenge, so if you had six people, you'd maybe almost do it better in teams, huh? Yeah, it sounds it sounds like it's getting too compl too. I think if it gets too unwieldy, people are not gonna follow through. You know, it becomes a commitment that you don't want to follow through on. Um hmm. I'm liking this idea. I think I think a January stitching challenge does not matter at what level you are. I mean, I could have people do squares. Maybe you have to send in a square in order to get a square. That would mean sending me your squares. And then I would you know, if you sent me your squares by a certain date, then I would send them out. I would mix them up and send them out to people. Um, and you wouldn't know which, who's, whose square you're going to get until you got it in the mail. Uh, if we had, that way we would have, that's true, international people. Hey, Lori. Ooh, each person do a square, send it to the next person on the list, and the person adds to it and sends it on. That's a good idea, too. And quarterly because of international mail. So let's think about that. Um, honestly, as far as postage goes, you know, would you want to be, you know, we could do a matchup. We could match up, say, you know, groups of five or six people. Would you want to be matched up with, you'd have to say whether you were okay with doing international mail. And it could be just, um, hmm. if we did it like that, and we said, uh, say, teams of five or six, whatever we decided we wanted, and you could do them. Janet, we're trying to figure out how we could do a challenge where we could make things and send them to each other, kind of like uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations is doing with Ann Brooke. We're trying to figure out how to organize it so that um, it wasn't going to be a lot of work for any one person and that the commitment, you know, it's horrible if one person does a lot of work and the other people in the group don't follow through on it. Yeah, team groups depending on how many join and international want to join with international, etc. <laughs> so so maybe we would do it just with a deadline and just say, you know, um, you have six months to do it. You know, we could say January through June, six months, and then if it was a success, we could do it again July through December. And you could do it however you wanted to. We could say six squares in six months. You could do them all at once. You could do them one at a time. You could you know, have your own way of doing that. And so you would do six squares times six. So that's 36 squares in six months. Does that sound doable if they're small squares? A rotating list is an interesting idea too. How would that work? That would stretch it a lot. Um, 
I could make a square and send it to the first person on the list and that person would make a square and send it to the next person on the list. Is that what you're thinking as far as a rotating list? I have to go back. Uh, oh, so each month you've got a name and an address of a person to send it to. That's not bad either. Okay, so Jude said she did a six by six square. There were five in her team, and we swapped teams. So everyone got a piece from a team player. So, okay, so, um, so you made 30 squares, or I guess not. You made 25 squares, right? Even that less than that. You made 20 squares because you wouldn't count yourself. So you made 20 squares, and you sent them... No, you made five squares. <laughs> God, can you see why, why I'm not an accountant, right? Are you guys all just bamming your heads? Well, if everyone received a square, they'd only get, you'd have to be careful as to, to making sure people would follow through. Okay, now I'm going to back up first. I want to follow through on Jude's idea. If there are five people on the team, I'm, I'm one of five people on a team. I would make four squares and I would send one to each person on the team and everybody else would be making four squares and sending to everybody on the team. Is that right, Jude? As far as everybody getting something, I like that idea too. I'm not quite sure though how to follow through on it unless we, um, we did a one month thing where we, you would have to commit to making how many how many squares you would actually make. I might be willing to try it on a smaller scale on Jude's thing, like teams, small teams first. So say five on a team. So seven teams, you make five and send those five different ones to the team player. Okay, got it. If you have a team of six, you send out five squares. Yeah, no, I, I get it now, Janet. Do you see what Jude just said? And um, Brenda said the same thing. So if there's, I like this idea. We, so just depending on how many people sign up, and we can say signups would be by, um, what would be good? If we did signups by December 1st, yeah. I, I would definitely do a private Facebook group so we could share proof of postage. And you don't want to be on Susan's naughty list if you don't follow through on it. Um, so if we signed up by December. No. Uh, oh, Jude, did you have one person doing all the mailing? I didn't take it that way. Um So if there's a team of six, I'm on a team of six, I'm not going to make one for myself, but I'm going to make five squares. So person one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to make squares for them. And those people are going to tell me the colors they like and don't like. And that's all the input they give me. And I'm going to make five squares and send them to those people. And then I would make a um, private Facebook group so that we could share proof of postage. Jude, when you did it, how long did you have to create the squares? Because if we did that, then we could do one a month and it would mean that you guys would have to commit to, you know, six months of sewing. All right, so I will, um, I'll think about this. I will put it in a, in a poll on my community tab later so we can kind of flesh it out a little bit. And then, um, then I'll probably put together a video. I don't know. Part of me says do a video and part of me says maybe it should just be something that we arrange right here. Then show and tell the receipt to the receiver. Yeah. 
Yes, exactly, Janet. The team is just trading amongst themselves. Yeah, exactly, Margaret. You'd all have to do your own posting. So we could do this. Let's try this with like a six-month thing. We'll put six people on a team, and um, I will do a, a sign-up thing probably on my website so that people, if there's people that don't do Facebook and stuff, um, so I will ask you, do you want me to open it up by posting a video and getting more people involved? Or do you want me to keep it amongst those of you that are kind enough to join me here on my live streams? And I will leave, I will go with whatever the majority of you vote. Do we just keep it amongst those of you that are interested here? If so, then I'm going to add something here at the end rather than a, no what? <laughs> Adele, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm afraid of, trustworthy players. So Adele saying, just us, okay. So then here's what you got to do. All right, if you want in on this, and I will contact the people that, um, that I remember that left the chat. If you want in on this kind of a thing, and we'll see what kind of interest we have, and I'm going to delete this email in a bit. Here's my email address. Send me an email. And what I need to know from you is, yes, you want in on this um, make a square for a friend, the friendship squares, and whether you are okay with shipping international or not. And then I will um, create maybe a group email that can go out. Or uh, does everybody here do Facebook or do you want a private group that's not on Facebook? Hey, Patty, you made it just in time. <laughs> We're discussing doing a uh, private little challenge here with just the people that are dedicated that show up in the live stream. It's a very small crowd. Um, those people that want to be a part of a challenge of doing friendship squares can send me an email and tell me if you want to do international shipping or not. And what we're going to do is we're each going to make, we're going to break down into teams depending on how many people we have that want to do this. Yeah, I can do a private group on Facebook. I just don't know if everybody does Facebook. I can also do one through another uh, group thing that I manage. I have several private groups that I manage on Facebook as well. So it's just as long as you guys are okay with that. But you have to uh, you have to send me an email and let me know that you want to be in on this. And it's going to be, you know, a minimum of um, or probably a maximum of, of, what, five or six squares that you're going to have to make. I guess if we put seven people on it. You no, know, seven people on a team, we'd each get six. Yeah. Hey, Jackie's, you're back. Jacqueline is back. Homework is done. Yeah, we were just talking about some challenges and some things we can do. And Victoria, I think you're right. Start small and see how it goes. And if it's a hit, then we can do it again. Um, but we just want to do squares. Okay, you guys now give me your feedback. Do you want to do a six by six square or do you want to do something larger like I think Margaret mentioned, which was a 12 by 12? That seems like a lot. I think a, I think a starting small and see if we do well with a six by six square and slow stitch of any kind. Um, it doesn't have to, you don't have to be a pro at this because I'm certainly not a pro. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll wait and see how many enter. What was today's homework, Jacqueline? Six by six. Okay, six by six squares. That's good. And do we want to give ourselves six months to do it? We'll run it January through June.
And I'm going to, if people, I don't know that that many people are going to watch my replay, but I might get some interest from people that watch the replay on this. Or should I make this a private um, live stream and that people, other people don't enter in? ELA, ooh. G, just some kind of a fabric square. So sure, sure, yes, what? I'm sorry, I, I rambled on and forgot to stop talking when I asked a question. So um, leave it open to make the live stream private so that nobody else can enter except those that were here or leave it open and see what else. Oh, that's not fun. There can be foundation machine. I think the whole idea is that it's just a piece of fabric, Patty, just anything fabric. Shabby sheet, grungy, whatever. Um, when we match people up, the only thing we'll find out is uh, colors, color choices. But I'll wait until we actually get a group going on that. Let's see, getting caught up here. Yeah, until June. Okay, so we'll run it till June. Okay, Took, that's a good idea. I'll leave the live stream up and then we'll filter um, who joins by people that have been active, you know, whether they've been here in live streams before or um, been active with me in other communities and I feel like they're going to be able to follow through on stuff. So, oh, that's exciting. I, I, this, that'll be something really fun to look forward to in January. We'll just run it January through June, but you can work at your own pace. Exactly, Terry. You can, um, and I, you know, there should be no judgment. This is, you know, this is our safe zone, our happy zone, our support one another zone. And um, I'll tell you what, if I, if I hear... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a problem, but if I hear about people not being nice about it, um, they will definitely go on my naughty list. Exactly, Margaret. Not a lot of fun to get same stuff that's all our own. We'll get a nice variety. It's a good point, Janet. I, You know, I think... I don't get that many people. I mean, the people that watch my replays of my lives are ones that are super dedicated. And, you know, if it comes up a month from now, um, we'll probably be full up. So I'll, I'll kind of watch how many people sign up. So December 15th sound like a good deadline, I think, for signups. And again, um, Oh, gosh, Janet. Yeah, you have to do some of your seaweed. And see, Janet, you could do your beach seaweed garbage and just stitch that to a square. I know, Victoria, it's going to be fun, fun, fun stuff. And so, again, if you want to participate, you have got to send me an email here. And let me know if you're okay about... Um, shipping international shipping sorry i'm trying to find my email address earlier so that i can delete it because i don't want to have it out forever so it'll be a six by six square and i will do a uh, and we're just going to do any kind of a fabric six by six square sorry still looking for my okay there we go so let me delete this there no i don't want to do that i want to Hmm, how can I delete a comment? Can I delete? I should be able to delete a comment without blocking myself. Patty, how do I delete a comment in StreamYard? Shoot, I don't know how. Stitched on emu feathers. Oh, fun. Yeah, we'll just stretch. We're just going to stretch ourselves. And support ourselves, support one another. Um, well, I guess my my email address will be there. I don't know how to delete an email or delete a comment. I can block somebody, but I don't know how to delete the comment. I thought that would be 
Three dots to the right of the comp. Hmm. Let me try again. That's what I thought I would do, but let's see. Patty, when I do that, I get put user in timeout or block user. I don't get... Click... Yeah, I don't have that. Why do I not have that? Uh, when I click the three dots, I get put user in timeout and block user. If I right click, do I no? I'm trying to delete my um, email address. Okay, Jacqueline, I'll see you next week, okay? Adele, you can absolutely do whatever you want with it. It's just a six by six piece of fabric you'll be able to do whatever with. And uh, I'm going to stop trying to stitch on that right now. So something, I wonder if it's because I'm in the free version of StreamYard. Shouldn't be, but hmm. I'm pretty sure I deleted it before. Very interesting. I don't know. So it this is going to be fun. And, you know, we'll be sure that we get reliable people. Let's see. No. Nope. And if I click show, I don't want to click show. Oh, I have to do it from YouTube. Oh, can if I'm in StreamYard, can I still go to the video in YouTube? Let's see. I haven't done that. Let us check that out. Um, can I have it going in both places? Do, let's see. That. Let us check. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm over in YouTube now. Um, now I got to find my email again. Aha. Patty, I am so glad you were here. That did it. Okay, I found one of them. I've got to go find my other one. It's also easier in YouTube because it is a brighter um, color. Uh-oh. It's not giving me. Oh, let's see here. All messages. All right. Bear with me, guys. We're almost there. Almost caught back up. I just don't want to leave my... Oh, it's not letting me go back far enough. Well, at least my email's only in there one time, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's one way of putting it, right? Um, so yeah, I did mute the YouTube screen, got that, but I could only, it wouldn't let me go back in the chat far enough, but maybe it will. Um, hmm, and I've got live chat, not some chat. I've got live chat. All messages visible. Huh. Hey, Jude, can you see if you can go over to YouTube and, or if you, you, oh, it should let you, because you, and you said it wouldn't let you do it either. Because I've got uh, one more email address that's in there earlier, but, you know, like I said, people don't watch my replays, so maybe it won't be a big deal. And we'll just let it go. <laughs> All right, guys. So send me um, send me an email if it's something that you're interested in. And get the name in chat. Okay, uh, G. Will. Um, it's just my name. Let's see. It's just my name at gmail.com. And let's see, what can I do with, no, nope. oh, so many things to learn. Yeah, Jude's a, an admin, so, or a moderator, so she should be, oh, maybe I need to make her an admin. Okay, all right, I will, um, I'll just deal with it. I'll deal with whatever happens as a result. <laughs> you know, this has been an adventure today. I did get two of these things sewn on the inside, so, oh, whoops, not those two. 
I got the green one done and I got the blue one done. So I will finish these other ones today and the papers are all ready to go inside. Watch for the video on Friday uh, for the giveaway. And you'll have to watch all the way to the end of the video. Sorry, it won't be a long one, but you'll have to watch the whole video to get the questions to answer so that you'll have an opportunity to win one of these. And I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to see if I can figure out what's happening with that email address and also because I need some tea because my throat is telling me I talk too much. What a surprise. <laughs> Thank you for getting behind this idea. It's really exciting to think about creating some friendship squares. And, um, oh, the blue one is Janet's, yeah. <laughs> And I appreciate everybody hanging with me today. Thank you so much. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your week. And thanks for your support. Thanks for your thumbs up. Go out and make some great art. And I will see you next week. Okay. Bye for now.